Hi, I'm Mark Bedore. Today's Wild West is outside Forsyth, Montana at the Quigley Shoot. The guns once used to hunt buffalo now hunt targets in a very challenging Montana shooting competition. We'll take you there just ahead. This is fun. It's a blast when we're not shooting. <laughs> Oh, it's been a blast. Yeah. It really has been. Welcome to the Matthew Quigley Buffalo Rifle Match. Target it, Coulter! Competitive target shooters from all over the country and around the world. Uh, it's worth a thousand mile drive. <laughs> have come to a ranch outside Forsyth, Montana for the biggest shooting match of its kind. The Quigley, as it's known for short, uses the same kind of rifles the buffalo hunters used back in the 1800s. It's like a piece of jewelry. Yeah, they're works of art. Exact replicas of those same guns are made today by Shiloh Rifle Manufacturing in Big Timber, Montana. The company that built the single shot Sharps rifle featured in the 1990 Tom Selleck Western, Quigley Down Under, a movie that inspired Al Lee to launch the Quigley shooting match the following year. I've been shooting these guns for a long time. The 88-year-old Lee has been hosting the Quigley shoot ever since, every Father's Day weekend on his eastern Montana ranch. About 30 shooters came to that very first competition. 643 signed up for the 27th annual. Add in their family and friends, and the Quigley shoot turns Lee's ranch into Quigleyville. For many, the gathering has become a family tradition. It is. It's, a, it's an annual tradition. We've been doing this together as a family for about 10 years. Emily Reeves, with her little daughter Erica, is here with 15 family members, seven of whom are competing. We've always been, um, you know, shooting family, target shooting. The, the Quigley is amazing. Um, it's just such a fun time to come out here and camp, um, do the shooting, brave the elements, um, and get the, you know, be able to bring the kids and get them, um, you know, excited about shooting. This is my first time. First time. Wow, what do you think? I like it. And the shooters here include a fair number of well-supervised kids. You need to teach them respect and you need to teach them safety. And if you can do that, um, you know, this is a great, a great thing for kids. Eight-year-old Wesley Bauer is having fun shooting his granddad's rifle. What was fun about it? Shooting. Trying to beat shooting. <laughs> Target it, Coulter! Sixteen-year-old Coulter Johnson first came here as an eleven-year-old with his granddad. How's this weekend going for you? Um, pretty well. He's shooting exceptionally well. That's my gun. He's shooting and he's beating my butt. <laughs> and it's been so much fun to work with Coulter to see him do so well. The Quigley does tend to attract an older crowd. After all, this is a sport that requires a fair amount of disposable income. For a quality gun with a nice sight, you're looking maybe $2,500. Just... <laughs> but for those who love the Quigley, it's money well spent. It's fun. <laughs> it's a great camp out. Yeah, it's a great sport. We, we shoot other places, and this is, this is the best one. Don and Chris Steinmetz drove 850 miles from Yakima, Washington. The competition and, and the scenery and the trip and the vendor row. The noise, I love hearing it hit. <laughs> That's my favorite part. Hitting a target you can barely see using only iron sights, no scopes, is no easy thing. Uh, you just get used to looking for the contrast between the dark and the light and placing that in the peep and the, in the end of your sight. Targets range from 300 yards to as far as 1,200 yards away well over half a mile, oh, yeah. Alyssa. which is why this is a two-person sport Miss. with a spotter helping shooters gauge the wind. At long distances, even a slight breeze can send a bullet off course. It's challenging, definitely challenging, a lot more challenging than modern firearms. Dave Gulo was last year's champion. But once you learn it, you'd be surprised at what you can hit. Target hit! Pretty far out. 800 yards, 1,000 yards even. And then you just kind of look at your gun and you think, I, I just hit that target for real in your iron sights. We're talking iron sights we're using. But he also doesn't take the competition too seriously. There's no pressure. I let the chips fall where they may. 
if I if I win, fine. I don't win everything. I don't. No way. If I lose, I lose. I'm happy for the winner. All this fun is governed by just two rules: be safe and have fun. But there are procedures to make sure that happens. The muzzle is always pointed in a safe direction, which is downrange at all times. You keep your finger off the trigger until you're ready to shoot, and you keep the gun unloaded until you're ready to shoot. Dan Kuchera is the chief range safety officer, but Dan stresses safety and looking out for each other is everybody's job. These guns have no manual safeties on them, so the safety is between your ears. You need to be thinking, as with all firearms, you need to be thinking about what you're doing and be aware of those who are around you. And this is a crowd you can trust. There's a lot of dollars worth of equipment sitting around. You never have to worry about anybody messing with it. Just a bunch of real good people here. The fun includes shopping at the vendor booths. Okay, we'll take it. And showing off your best Western outfits. We have friends all the way up and down the line that we visit with, too. And we have a maybe a little glass of something to drink. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody's been so nice. Because yesterday, all we did was watch it rain. We couldn't shoot. You couldn't go anywhere and everybody was happy. They were having fun visiting with their friends and then today we can shoot. I bought my gun in 2010 so I started competition in 2011. The Quigley shoot, a Montana weekend of fun, friends and family. Being together, that's really what it's all about. And getting this one started yeah. He almost outshot me today. Yeah? <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's it for now. We're back next time with more cool stuff from today's Wild West. I'm Mark Bedore. We'll see you down the trail. For more information on the people and places featured in today's Wild West, or to order show DVDs and books, visit todayswildwest.com. Funding for today's Wild West provided by the Montana Film Commission, the Leggett Foundation, the Chuck Wagon Trail Riders Foundation, the Dude Ranchers Association, and the Dude Ranch Foundation.